Look, if you're using the same powerful model for every single incoming message, you throw money down the drain. So let me show you today on how to build a guard for your chatbot that's going to save you money and make things way more efficient. So let's get to work. So the first thing I want to show you is I'm here in Chatbot Builder AI's dashboard analytics section. The first thing I want to do is head to agents because we're going to be setting up our agent called Robert Judge or Judge Robert or the other. So right here, I'm going to click on add agent. And we'll name this one Judge Robert. Shout out to Robert. And this is where you would put in your prompt on how you want Robert to identify what message should be categorized as what. Now I've got a pre-written one to save us some time. And don't worry, I'll go through it with you all so we can see what's going on. Let's just fix this. Okay, so agent name is Judge Robert. The purpose is to analyze user messages and assign a complexity rating on a scale of one to three. Now you can have one to five, one to seven, and you can decide exactly you know, what each one means. For today, I'm just gonna be using one to three, and I'll use only two different models, which is GPT-40 Mini and GPT-40. Um, you can use all sorts of different models, and you can even use different LLMs, but maybe that's a different video. Instructions and steps. Analyze user message. So read the user's message to understand its content and complexity. Then assess complexity. Number one is for easy. So greetings, simple affirmations, things like what is two plus two. Number two is moderate. So straightforward questions such as what's the weather like or what are your business hours? And three, which is complex. So questions requiring analysis, comparisons, like calculating estimate times of arrivals, summaries and documents, you get the idea. So today I'm gonna to be having one and two both linked to GPT-40 Mini and three linked to GPT-40. Critical output rules are very important. So under no circumstances should you ever output a number that is not one, two or three. Your output must be one of these three digits and nothing else. So that pretty much just ensures that the bot doesn't hallucinate and say, hey, you know, this sounds like a number seven question when there is no number seven. And then we're gonna give it examples. So this is pretty much showing about how you want it to respond to certain incoming questions, such as user, hey there, the assistant will read it as a one. So that'll be easy. And then for things like what's your prices or what are your prices, you'll do it as a two, that's for moderate. And then things like based on current traffic, what's my estimated time of arrival to the business, we'll have it as three. Or it's five, five o'clock now, I'll be there in 45 minutes, will you still be open, things like that. Where it's checking current user time, we'll have that, you know, for cheap D4 instead of four mini. Now we'll context, I have a client who had that issue where people would be like, hey, I'm on my way to the shop. Like at the end of the day, the shop's like about to close and they're like, I'm on my way to the shop and the boss like, cool, see you soon. And they'd show up and the shop's obviously closed. So to prevent it from continuing to happen, I decided to set it up in a way where the bot would say, hey, what's your estimate? So like estimated time of arrival. They'd say, oh, 20 minutes. So then it'll check the current user time and say, hey, okay. So currently it is 4.50. They say 20 to 30 minutes. The shop closes at five. It'll be closed by then. So I should have them, hey, listen, we'll be closed, but then come tomorrow at 9 a.m. And that solved that problem. Now, 4.0 Mini handles that just fine, but you need to be a little bit more uh, detailed with your prompting put a bit more effort into it. Whereas with GPT-40, you can be a bit more lax about it. You don't have to be super, super detailed in your prompts. But either way, it's just down to you know preference. So this is Judge Robert, the agent setup. Let's click Save. Now from here, very important, you're heading over to Settings, OpenAI Chat GPT. This is also where you disconnect your API key. So every single CBB account comes with an API key already in it. So you have access to you know, 4 mini, things like that. But if you want to use something like 03 or 40, um, you would need to use your own key. So you can just disconnect and then just add your own API key in here. Um, there is, just note, there is a reconnection fee. So if you do want to you know, jump back over to CBB's key, it's like a small reconnection fee. Just reach out to support, they'll get you all sorted. So anyways, turn this off. We'll be selecting a default reply later here. Right now, so I'm heading over to flows and create the default reply that we'll be using. So I'm gonna click on add and I'm gonna name this one judge robert default and click continue now there are two ways we can do this we can either set the default reply right at the end or we can set it right now so it's a little bit of a back and forth but i prefer to do it right now just so we have a smoother workflow so from here we'll go to settings and where it says default flow we'll just click on judge robert default and click save now remember we've already turned off in integrations open edge gpt we've default uh, turned off default agents so we're all good. Selected Judge Robert default here. And now we head back over to flows, back to the default reply we just created. 
awesome. So right here, Judge Robert default, click on it. And this is where you greet it with the flow builder, clean slate. Okay, this is where the magic happens. So this first node, click on it, add content, click on actions, and then select open AI, just like that. Okay, that's the first step. Now let's rename this one and call this one Judge Robert Agent. Okay, always good to name your, your block so you know exactly what is what. So let's click on it again. Click on open AI and where it says generate text, click on that and click on generate text agents. And we'll leave the model as GPT-40 mini and we'll select the agent Judge Robert. Easy as that. Now save response to a custom field. I've already created one for this account because I was practicing. Um, but you would have response rating or whatever it is that you want to call it. If you don't have response rating or you want to add a different one, click on add new and you can create a new custom field. So for functions, I'll disconnect this one right now. We don't need it. Remember conversation, turn that off and temperature down to 0.3. So I've had others ask me, what is the temperature for? Pretty much the higher the temperature, the more random the bot is, the less likely it is to follow your custom instructions. So if your bot's acting all out of whack and your entire setup is correct, do check your temperature and make sure it's not too random. So number one, so if I put it all the way up to one, 1.1 or one, one, that's, no, it's, it has some problems. Have it at 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, you'll be okay. Now for maximum number of output tokens, we can leave it as is and click continue. Awesome. So now the next step is to click the plus down here and you want to add a condition. From here, we'll select from continue to condition, okay? And we'll name this one as message rating. So what this is going to do, it's going to look at what the output is from Judge Robert. Is the one, is the two, is the three? And then determine where the flow goes. So click on conditions, where it says language, click on that, and then select your custom field. Response rating is mine. So you can just type it in, search whatever the name is that you have created, and then select it from custom fields. Response rating. Response rating is one, okay? So don't click condition plus here, but create or check new condition. Okay, and that's where you click on plus condition. And then same thing again, response rating is two. And finally, check new condition, condition, response rating is three. Click save, perfect. So from here, what you wanna do next is click the little plus and add a action, okay? And this action, we'll click on it, add content, actions, open AI. Click on open AI, and over here, you would choose either the agent that you have already set up for your default reply or um, custom instructions. So for this one, I'll just use custom instructions uh, and plus that extra prompt just to show you some ways on how the bot responds. So for this one, I'll have generate text, model is GPT-4 mini. We'll keep it at GPT-4 mini, the cheap one, since it's like a one. This is for you know, questions like, hi, hello, how are you doing? This is when this one will be triggered. Again, if I'm confusing you in any way or if you have questions, you can message down below in the comment section or you can reach out to me directly. I'm on Discord and Facebook, general communities. The links will be down below. My DMs are always open to you. So where it says business information, I have one already prepared. So it's saving us some time. Boom. So again, this is my very basic mock-up demonstration reasons. Um, business information, you're a helpful assistant. Your job is to respond to the user in one to two sentences about the business, limitless marketing. We offer AI chatbot services, social media marketing, and also consultations. And then where it says user message, we would leave it usually as is. But today, please pay attention. This is very important. I just saw that response rating. This right here, please pay attention. This right here, which I've highlighted, is only for us, you and me, so that we can see if the right open AI is being triggered based on what Robert decides is the rating. Okay? So this is this will show us if we're asking a simple question, we should see a number one, and it should tell us that we're using GPT-4 or Mini, the cheap version. And we'll set up for the others where the third one is GPT-4.0, okay? So last input, so user message is last input. That's what the user is typing. And the extra you know, instruction, usually you would never put anything in here. This is just for this demo. You would keep this blank with last input. But here it says you are also to mention to the user what rating this message is based on response rating. And then let them know that you are model GPT-4 or mini. Simple as that. So if response to a custom field will be AI default reply. And for functions, we can remove it. Perfect. So let's duplicate this, okay? Three times, zoom out a little bit so it's not so cram. And we will name the first one 40 mini one, okay? So we know it's 40 mini one, and then collect this one. Perfect. Then for the second one, we'll name it 40 mini two, 
And for the third one, oops, third one, we'll name it 403. There we go, 403. Now, these two, since, you know, one and two are both for, you know, very basic questions, and this is gonna be model GPT-40 mini, we can leave it as this. Now, for the third one, right, for more complex questions, we're using 40. So we do need to make some changes. So click on it, click on OpenAI, and the two changes we want to make is the model, switch to cheap D40, and then right here, we just remove mini. When we're getting a message, a complex message, they'll tell us this response is rated number three. And by the way, I am cheap D40. So we know for sure that this is not the same as the other ones. Okay? Um, so response to custom field, still the same. Nothing changes there. Perfect. Now we're gonna click on the plus, get a sign message block, and connect all of these up to the same one. Click on this, add context, and have AI default reply. Perfect. And click publish. Now, before we go and test this out, let's just make one last adjustment because I just remembered it's probably best to have this. So generate text advanced, and let's turn off conversation. Remember conversation, just have it as to know. And then temperature, we can turn down to 0 0.5, 0 0.4. And yeah, that's good. And we'll do it for all of them. Yeah, so generate text, uh, generate text advanced, conversation off, make sure 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 is fine. And then the final one, generate text advanced, and then we turn this off, 0 0.4. Click continue, and let's go ahead and check this out. Click publish. All you're going to do is now head on back over to flows and preview the welcome flow. Now, I already have one. I had set this one up. Um, just having a bit of fun. I mean, if you're not having fun, what are you even doing? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> All right, let's preview this. Cool, cool, cool. So we should get the GIF up here with the welcome message. And then I can start with something like, hey, yeah. And send it through. Hey, limitless market. So it's giving me the, you know, overall uh, business information I had just given it. And then this message is rated a one based on clarity. And I'm GPT-4 mini. So that's GPT-4 mini. Let's give it a difficult one. Jump straight to three. And then we can test for the smaller ones to see what's a two, for example. But I'd say I am 500 meters away from your shop. I travel at 10 meters per minute, per five minutes. And it's 4.45 p.m. now. And the shop closes at six will i make it i don't even know the answer to this i am straight up making this as complex as possible top of the head and let's see what we get boom just like that at your current pace it will take you 250 minutes so we actually calculated it out um i will make it this message is really three out of three for clarity and i model cheap d4 o not for mini for o so very important, the little extra step that we did with forgetting the conversation history, or no, remembering the conversation is setting to no, make sure you have that implemented as well. And there you have it. Within minutes, you have created a awesome agent that is ensuring that you're not throwing money down the drain with expensive models when responding to a bunch of high hellos. Um, this way you can just keep you know, the simple questions or the simple messages to the 4 Mini. And then for something that needs a little bit more brain power, you can chuck it over to GPT-40. So I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And again, all resources will be down below in the description. Reach out to me on Discord or Facebook. Please join our communities. We would absolutely be pumped to have you there. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.